guy who is coming. He is going to try to shake our gravity. So, here it comes, Povik from Cyprus. You're welcome to the class. Hello, and of course, his team, please take your seat. Hello? Hello. Hi, everyone. Uh, feel free as uh, you're sitting at your kitchen, at your home. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Nice to see you. We're uh, part of the team of Cyprus. This is Hovig, of course, our singer. And uh, Thomas Gisson, our composer, I'm Evie, head of delegation. Nice to meet you. Uh, shall we start with questions? Yes. And the first question is from my part. When did you arrive and what did you... Maybe you had the opportunity to see something, uh, sightseeing over here. Not really. Not really. Yeah, we just, yeah, we just arrived last night, so no, not much time for us till now. But maybe you have a plan. Sure, we do have some uh, some free time, and we can't wait to see the city. Mm -hmm. uh, is it your first time in Ukraine? This is my first time in Ukraine, and I hope it will not be the last time, because until now, people so. are so kind with me, so I would like to come back again at the point. Great. Okay, we're moving to the questions from the floor. Uh, who would like to ask a question? Um, over there, yes, please. The microphone over there, yeah, thank you. Hello, this is Hassan Yusuf from uh, Vision Magazine in the UK. Eric, um, watching your ad, you definitely try to tell a story, which is quite unique in this year's contest. You're walking a tightrope, you try not to fall off, grabbing each other's ankles. I mean, are you going to evolve in even more choreography? Well, you see, this is, this is our choreography. Thank you for your question, first of all. This is what we have, uh, we have prepared for you. Um, Hari Sab is our choreographer. The reason why we are balancing online, because for me, actually, gravity, when you see, Thomas came with this idea, I'm asking let me be your gravity and um, all I'm asking is let me be the person who will balance you. And with this line I want to show that I'm good in balancing, even though I had a, had a small problem today with balancing on stage. But this won't be till the, till the semi-final for sure, so that's why we have this uh, line trying to balance on it. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, next please. Hi, I'm Simon from Poland. First of all, when I ask my female colleagues uh, uh, who watch all songs uh, about the impression, uh, they told me that uh, you have the most uh, hypnotizing guys in this country. Oh, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> so you can expect a warm welcome in Warsaw. Anyway, uh, the question is about uh, song from Sweden. Sweden is everywhere. Uh, every year and you brought the Swedish entry to Cyprus this year. Is it a problem for, because I think that for many countries it is a problem that uh, they would be represented by artists, by composers and uh, people who write lyrics from different countries, they don't represent actually your culture. Is it a problem for, for Cyprus and well, your broadcaster? Thank, thank you for the question. First of all, we, we think music is universal, no boundaries. Uh, music is music. Then, of course, we've already worked with uh, Thomas and we're very happy that we worked last year. We had very good results. We appreciate his work. We love his work. And let me just tell you, in case you don't know, Cyprus is a very small country and we don't actually have a music industry. So we try to leave kind of spaces between competitions and assignments. We've been doing assignments for the last two years. In 2015, we had a competition. We tried to leave a space to give the opportunity to Cypriot composers to have time to prepare good entries. So probably next year we're going to have a competition. But it is, as I told you, it's a small country. We don't have the music industry to support all this. It's very difficult for us. But I've noticed that you win every talent competition in Greece. Yes, we have excellent voices. That's why he's here. I it's think Cypriot. It's the, I think it's we don't have a problem with the voices. It's the composition that is a bit of a problem. Voices, no problem at all. That's the proof here. 
next to me. <laughs> Great, thank you very much. Yes, please. Hello, my name is Lloyd. I'm from South Africa. One of my big favorites are Thomas Jason, and he knows how many of his songs have been covered already in South Africa. How we, would you like your song to be covered in South Africa, in Afrikaans? Hey, uh, thank you for your question. Of course, I would love that. Already, everybody's singing has so many covers of the song, and it's lovely. Seriously, the nice thing about Eurovision is uh, the fans and uh, how much appreciation they're showing to my song till now, and I'm so happy about that. I can't wait to get some covers from South Africa. That would be a big pleasure for me. Actually, talking about the fans, do you have uh, plenty of time to answering all the, the messages? <sighs> Time is a very big issue this last month for me because we are trying to rehearse so hard but uh, I try to make some time and just see some uh, mails and try to get oh, back to yeah, them. Yeah, I'm giving you a present 10 seconds to your fans, just leave them a message right now. All I want to say is thank you so much for your support and uh, I believe Eurovision is totally yours. You guys uh, are, are the one making this so special so Seriously, I hope I make the best performance dedicated to all of you for all your support. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, please. Hi, Herbie. Alistair Birch from Eurofile. I read somewhere you like the book The Art of Body Language. Is that correct? Yes, I like the body language. Yeah, I've read that, yeah. And uh, what's so special about the book? And what does it tell you about the audience watching you today? That they're really calm and uh, they're, they're actually... They're, they're relaxed and that's very nice. No tension in here. I like that. You agree? <laughs> Great, thank you very much. More questions? Okay. Uh, you dropped um, marketing studies. I mean, today your parents would see it and say, come on, you have to yes. be a serious man, and you're just seeing it. Yeah, you see, my mom still uh, tells me to get a normal job. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm talking about. Moms want to see their sons with their ties, I guess. I don't know what at least my mom does, but um, I think I'm making her quite proud. Definitely, but what was the main core that um, pushed you to drop? That um, gave you force to this decision because it's not that um, simple to change everything. I always wanted and I always knew that I was gonna, I'm gonna be doing music in my life. I loved singing since a very young age. Um, but when I finished my secondary school, I had good grades. So uh, I tried studying uh, accounting in the beginning, but then that was only for five months because I couldn't. That was very boring for me, so uh, <laughs> I dropped and then I did some marketing. However, I think uh, then in 2009, X Factor came to the audition. I went to the auditions, I, I was chosen, so I dropped. Okay, thank you. You see, I think you gotta, you gotta follow your dreams. It's, it's, not, it's not wrong trying to do something else as well, but you have to keep on following your and trying to make your dreams come true. I think that's... That's a very nice thing. I'm, I'm lucky enough to be able to be making my dreams come true. So don't stop dreaming and dream big. Great. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> yes. Uh, please. Yes, you. Hey, I'm Farouk from France. Hello. Hello. Uh, congratulations for your first reaction. Thank you so much. Was, uh, I appreciate it. It's, it's very good. Um, did you hear the song, all the songs of the contest this year? And what are the songs that you like very much, please? Um, I think we have a good Eurovision year this year. I like many songs. Um, I actually like French song a lot. And, uh, you know, I like the Secret song very much. It's a song by Thomas Gissing, it's called Gravity. But besides that, I think I also like uh, Armenia song this year a lot. And uh, I like the Greek song. I also like, um, there are many songs, uh, Czech Republic I find very nice. Thank you very much, and um, talking about the rehearsal, how it was, the first rehearsal you had here, uh, how do you feel the stage, is it big for you or not? Well, the stage was amazing, the, the lead floor was amazing, uh, people were so kind with us, all the stage managers and uh, backstage manager was very kind with us, and in the viewing room everybody were very nice with us. Um, I love the stage. I like. I, I love the arena. 
and uh, I think we will we will manage to make a very good performance on 9th of May. It was the first rehearsal. There are some things we want to change. Um, we are quite happy till now, but it was a rehearsal not only for me and my team, but also for the team that will broadcast the show. So uh, we were all very relaxed and wanted to, to do a good rehearsal. I think we did quite well. Okay. There is always, there is always, uh, there is always the space for some improvement. So we still have some time. Not a lot, but we have some. <laughs> yes, please. Hello, Vic. Hello, Hello. Cyprus. JP from Wade International. Um, first of all, I have a question regarding your future plans in your musical career for after Eurovision. And uh, secondly, you are from Armenian descent. Yes. Uh, would you consider also to sing for Armenia in the future? Well, they asked me again this question. For, uh, the first part of your question, if I have any plans for... Uh, first of all, I will need some good vac vacation after this. It's... Any plans where to go? Sorry? Any plans where to go? I'm from a very nice, warm uh, summer island, so I will stay in my island. It's, we, have, we have very nice uh, beaches and great uh, hotel and great food, so I think that is a very good destination for summer holidays. Maybe you guys should check that out if you haven't been there. So that's the first thing I would do. After that, I don't know, I have some... Uh, I, I want to do some more songs, of course, and I want to do... The, I want to be a singer for all of my life, so I will work hard, because uh, with working hard, I think this is the only way to, uh, to manage this. And the first part of uh, the, if because uh, that I have Armenian origins. Well, you see, I love Eurovision till now, and if it seems to come again, why not? Thank you very much. Yes, please. Hi, Alistair again. I think I'm correct in saying your nickname on the island is the Music Messenger. Yeah. Where, where does that come from, and do you mind the, the, the nickname? No, I like the nickname, and uh, I am a music messenger. I am. I do try to promote uh, good music, and um, because I think music can make a lot of difference in the world, and that's why I love Eurovision because it is the it is the biggest music show that all the Europeans can get together and see in one night. So that's something amazing. Uh, the the nickname actually came from um, the X Factor auditions. A judge there just said that, because I was wearing a t-shirt, I didn't even know the t-shirt was writing the music messenger, but I guess it was the right t-shirt at the right place, so that's where it came from. Great, thank you very much. Actually, uh, talking about messages, uh, if today is your last day on this very planet, and oh, you're no. leaving, no, yes, but uh, you have like 10 seconds to leave a message to the world, what it should be? Ah, if this is the last message. Dream on, dreamers. Okay, thank you. Yes, please. This actually is a question to Thomas. Um, congratulations for so many nice music songs you've been writing for us. How do you go about writing so many songs for Melody Festival and for the other countries? And what was the criteria for you to write this song for Novik? Well, uh, you, you ask me how it comes out, right? Songs. It's just because it's, uh, I think it's fun to write songs and uh, I don't have uh, an actual plan for writing songs like this but uh, it just happens to be like this and say once in a while Evi and uh, Titus calls me and want me to write a song for Cyprus and I think that sounds interesting and I do my best to write a song for them. So. Um, I just think it's fun, and uh, I think that's the main reason I write so many songs. Could you please speak up with the microphone? Uh, do you write the song for you knowing the artist? Do you, did you know that the song was going to be for Hobby? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, uh, I knew it was uh, going to be uh, Hobby. And um, we had some discussions how uh, which type of song it should be, and um, we, we worked together. But uh, I came up with some ideas and then they said, said no or yes. And I think we have to say, you came to Cyprus, you saw my live performance there, so... Yeah, that's true, that's of course. And I saw it, this crazy guy on stage. <laughs> so I, I was caught once, so... Okay, thank you very much. 
But as we know that in 2012 you gave the world a great hit, Euphoria. Uh, how, big, how do you think this hit, I mean, um, the song that you are performing this year, could it be the next hit of your team? First of all, I'd like to say that uh, working with uh, Thomas, Mr. Euphoria, as many people call him, it was an amazing experience. He's, he's such a cool guy in the studio. And uh, I think the biggest talent of Thomas is being able to write a song directly for the artist, which this is something very important. And uh, yes, I do think Gravity has the quality to become a huge hit. I wish you luck with Thank you so much. Process. I think it was until now, it's not. <laughs> Any questions more? Okay, talking about lyrics. Yes. Uh, I can be your hero, I can be your fantasy. Oh, I can be the cure. Oh, let me be a remedy. And you're so good, you're so good. <laughs> you're out of the closet, but come on. I'm not a you're so good. Thank you very much. Uh, if you need to changes or something, I'm here. Thomas, let me should write a song for her. So, the question is whether you are messaging uh, these uh, words to someone. Maybe there is someone who is standing from that side and you're saying, I'm the hero. Yeah, uh, you know, when they ask me what, who is the one person you will be thinking about on stage, my answer is that I think I will be thinking about future, way future, thinking about maybe my kids in the future, so this is, so I don't have any, but I think that is a good way for me to be concentrated on stage because this is something that my kids in the, some ye many years they will be looking at this video, so I'd like to make them proud. So nice of you passing history through generations. I think that's that's very nice. Okay, questions more? No, no questions at all. We are with the time moving. Oh, okay, we uh, yeah. if we have, so it's the last one and we're moving to the yeah, Eric, one of our, our parts on the radio show we have is a Eurovision cover. We, we take in Eurovision songs and it's covered by other artists. What song would you cover from the Eurovision Song Contest? There are so many songs I like and I think I, I have to sit and do a good research because I like so many songs, so I don't know if I can answer just with one song right now. Right now my mind, the only, the only song I have on my head is Gravity. It's Gravity all the time. All the time gravity. I sleep, I wake up, I talk with Thomas, I think gravity. I talk with Emmy, I think about gravity. So I will do small research and maybe I can post something this week that I will be in Ukraine. Maybe I could, we could do a small cover, a Eurovision song cover, and I'll post them on the internet. Thank you very much. So we wish you a good and stable gravity. <laughs> and finally, so the grand final and take your thank best. Thank you so much. Uh, so, 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 and thank you everybody for your time.